you buy a cruise stage, you're on your own. Uh, that the rest of the aeroshell starts to enter the atmosphere. It heats up to about 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit in certain areas on that heat shield. Um, that's going to dissipate a fair amount of the energy, getting us to the point where we feel comfortable popping the parachute. But we're still doing that at a supersonic speed. And so that is a very uh, exciting moment for us to make sure that we get that parachute out. As we descend further, we'll let go of that heat shield. You can now see the lander inside of there. Uh, the legs will deploy. We'll start collecting radar data using an F-16 like radar to figure out what our altitude and our uh, relative velocity is. We'll free fall for just a little bit, which is absolutely terrifying thought for me. Uh, but I've been told our descent thrusters will then start firing perfectly well, <laughs> slowing us down to about five miles an hour once we finally get to the surface of Mars. So within about six and a half minutes. When we look at the crust of Mars, that's a, a, a snapshot into the past of what the crust of the Earth might have looked like four and a half billion years ago before it got all busy. I, I know it's scheduled to be watching out, but has it suddenly gained an importance? That I am completely excited and completely nervous all at the same time because uh, everything that we've done to date makes us feel comfortable and confident we're going to land on Mars, but there's, everything has to go perfectly. And Mars could always throw us a curveball to use the baseball analogy that you know, may decrease our batting average. But I think we've been practicing very well.